get lot 15 cleared up, mate. Gary Drayton and Peter Fernetti arrive in the uplands on lot 15 to search for important clues where the team believes a buried stone path is running between the swamp and the mysterious pine tar kiln. Uh, let's see what this one is. Let me see. Not every day, mate. Now that the team has obtained GPR evidence of the pathway, it is Marty Lagina's hope that if Gary and Peter can recover artifacts predating the discovery of the money pit in 1795, a special permit can be obtained to excavate the feature and determine just where it leads. Somewhere in there? Let me try pinpointing it. Wow. Just there. Right. Here she blows. Wow, look at that. Got a spike? Yeah, that's a big spike. You know, I'm not sure if that's square or it's a rose head spike. This will be interesting when this cleaned up. I mean, it kind of looks like there's even a little lip on it. Hey, what the heck's it doing out here? That is really hefty as well. So rod iron, you would say? Yeah. And this is more than likely pre-searcher. That's a cool find. I'll be interested to see what this is when it's cleaned yeah. up. I'm hoping it's a rose head spy. All right, let's bag it and tag it. I hope we can find more evidence of a path, a trail. Then we have to make sure we have the proper permits in place. Let's go to the next one. Yep. And at that point, you know, we have to investigate it physically. We have to perhaps conduct a dig. Yo, that's a screamer, mate. Just a. You got it out, great. <laughs> we are very close. Yeah, see what we got here, mate. Another big old chunky piece of iron. It's heavy, really heavy for its size. So you'd have to assume it's hand forged iron. I think this is a nice crudely made hammer head. It could be a claw hammer. If it is, it's a small one. It's very small. This would have served a purpose, but to have this in, in this area yeah. and on this trail, mate. Maybe it was made on an island for quick repairs here and there, and it snapped off. Be too small for farming. Definitely. It's an old one. Mm -hmm. You don't get them looking like that. I think a lot of this stuff that we're pulling up in this area is pre-searcher. I think we're in depositor era. Dating back to the early 16th century, claw hammers were designed for building wooden structures and were originally made of hand-forged iron, as opposed to modern versions, which are typically composed of steel. Since this iron claw hammer was found near the believed 16th century pine tar kiln, which Laird Nevin suspects may have been connected to the construction of the original money pit, could Gary be correct that it was possibly used during an effort to deposit something of value on Oak Island? I think the interesting thing is, if you look at our flags, it's right in this nice line that's what you would think a trail. Yeah, we got the money pit there. I think we're on the trail of something good as well, mate. Lot 15 is, again, it's interesting. These finds may indicate a path. Well, that's what we're looking for, a path. All right, let's go to the next one. OK. We need to come to a further understanding of it and its importance. Yeah, more defined signal. Should be right there, mate. See if we got it out. Yep, you have got it out. Another. That is a square one by the look of it. It's got a nice square red on it. So what do you think this was used for? They would have been used for a wide variety of purposes on Oak Island. And we've got the money pit. Maybe it was used for construction purposes as well. And is this pre-discovery, pre-1795? Pre Something that heavy, um, I'm leaning towards it, but it's, it's tough to know until it's cleaned up. Great little find. Another good one yep. for the bag. Let's follow the trail. Right. 